All right, let's check in now with Next Weather Chief Meteorologist Ivan Cabrera for the latest. Ivan, the, the scope of the storm, it seems so large looking at it on the radar behind you. Right now at Category 1, but expected to strengthen rapidly, right? Yeah, and the wind field extends for hundreds of miles mm. here from left to right. That is why we're under a tropical storm warning, despite the fact that the center of the storm, the eye, which will become very prominent in about 12 hours here, is going to pass well to our west. Uh, so that is not going to be an issue for us here. But as Lauren mentioned, the size of it, I mean, it's like 500 miles across here. So that is what we're going to be dealing with. The 5 p.m. advisory, 85 miles an hour. We are not yet quite at rapid intensification. Uh, so it's gone from, you know, what we had earlier this afternoon, 75 to 85. It is now moving due north, though. That westerly component is done. So this is about as far west as it's going to get before then it starts pulling off to the north and then making that curve to the north and east. Pressure has fallen. We have Hurricane Hunter aircraft that continue to investigate. And, of course, all that data goes into the models. And, of course, now this is why we always say prepare for a category higher, right? So we were talking about perhaps a Cat 2 or 3. Now the National Hurricane Center, that's the breaking news at 5 o'clock, has a Category 4 approaching uh, the Florida Big Bend by Thursday night. 130 mile an hour winds. Uh, a serious storm here. Could it get stronger? Could it get a little bit weaker? Both are in play here, but it's just one of those things we plan for the worst because rapid intensification is something that is very difficult to forecast. But safely away as far as the hurricane force winds 200 miles to our west so we don't have to worry about that problem is because it's so large look at these bands of rain that continue already impacting our area here with tropical storm force at wind gusts. The peak of the storm is not going to happen until tonight and into tomorrow. I think tomorrow will be the worst of it through the morning and into mid afternoon. Now we're just going to get these squalls that are not, you know, pleasant to drive around in, but they're far and few between. You can see this chunk of dry air that's on top of us right now. Another issue we're going to be watching is is some of these bands do start training. That means they go over the same area and we have a pretty good one right now just to the east of Key West. So a big cockpit getting in on that as well. All of that rain continues to pile in over the same area. So that's the kind of flood potential that we have along with that onshore wind that at times of high tide is going to bring us, I think, about one to three feet of storm surge. Look at these bands that are ready to come in. This is going to arrive sometime around, I think, eight o'clock tonight. All that begins to fan up to the north and these will be bringing some pretty significant uh, uh, wind gusts along with that heavy rain. And this is uh, remarkable here because of its size. Almost the entire state of Florida is under either a tropical storm warning or a hurricane warning. A few miles on the very western edge of the panhandle out towards Pensacola is the only area that doesn't have a tropical storm alert. You don't get that unless you get a huge system because typically if it's on the west side, the west side gets the worst of it here. But uh, we're all going to feel some impacts of it, but nothing like what they're going to be dealing with across the panhandle and into the Big Bend. We're going to be doing one to three feet. That is going to be minor coastal flooding for us. There's, you know, that is the only thing we have to worry about now. Points to the north out towards Naples, three to five feet. And then, of course, you get into the catastrophic storm surge up across the Big Bend and the Nature Coast there again getting hit uh, second time this year, right? Uh, so this is not going to be the fourth hurricane landfall in the United States. So timing for us, tropical storm warning in effect for Miami, Dade and Broward. That's going to be tonight through tomorrow night, 25, 35 sustained winds at times with gusts to 50 with two to four inches of rainfall more like two because those bands are going to be you know just spur not sporadic but they're going to be uh, you know they're going to be intervals of some very dry air so i don't think the flooding event is going to be a significant force of course the florida keys also under a tropical storm warning there i think the winds are going to be more serious between 50 and 60. watch on next weather rain tracker and gusts here there we are through this evening and there you see that band i was talking about beginning to lift up that's going to continue to bring in the very heavy rainfall along with the winds and they are going to be just continuous here look at the clock there by thursday tomorrow at 11 o'clock we'll begin to see some improvement but even through friday we'll have to be dealing with some gusty winds that so we'll have continuous updates from the National Hurricane Center about every hour now. So we'll bring that to you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.